lot of beautiful women today. Yeah. Women. Yeah. Are you nervous? Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Dude, he's funny because he's handsome. Nah, bro. I'm so ugly. Oh, just nah, like I'm so ugly. No. Why did you pop your balloon? It was just a little too cringy for me, unfortunately. I think he's inflating another balloon for you. I can give him another chance. Oh. What? Kat, what's going on? Why'd you pop your balloon? I didn't like that he was pretending to be insecure. I think he's a very attractive man. Nah, you doing too. No, short. Here's the thing: short guys always have the best faces. They always look the cutest. Nah, really? If it's really yeah. down, okay, I'd be like, oh no, I'm ugly. Like I don't like fishing for compliments. <laughs> Are you gonna accept the balloon again? Yeah, sure. Why not? No way. Okay. W tactic. Does height matter in a man? Yes. But, like, if someone's personality is actually really good and they're a kind person, like, height isn't everything. I would say no. I'm very short. I wear these heels everywhere I go. Mm. So I think if I take them off, I might be shorter than you. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Dang, you went down, like... Yeah, right? Down. Yeah, mm. I think. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really care about height. I don't think it matters. I mean, you're not, like, that short. Ooh. So... No, I don't think it matters. I'm short as well. I'm also in heels. I don't think it matters as long as you can make me laugh. Mm. And you've done that so far. So oh. you're, <laughs> you're in the green area. Oh, yeah. I just think a guy taller than me is fine. Well, I'm taller than you. Yeah, exactly. So, All right, that works out then. Let's cut straight to it. What's the freakiest thing y'all done? I could go first if y'all want. I could set the standard. I think you Maybe should go first. My mom bought me a $45 bottle of melatonin. And I remember I was so young. I think I was 17. <laughs> I was alone at night. I basically took to the, the melatonin bottle, went to the trash can, emptied all of it out. It was a brand new bottle. $45. Why didn't you save the melatonin at least? I wasn't thinking. So when I emptied the melatonin bottle, I put a sock in it. I put some wet stuff in the sock and I put my piece in the sock with the melatonin bottle. <laughs> Nah, you like that. Wait, no pops? I okay, Son, you're covering your ears. You're expecting a pop? Wrong. They love you, bro. I like this. I like this. <laughs> Can I have them all, Rug? <laughs> I Damn. Alex, why did you pop your balloon? I didn't like the comment. Can I have them all? Oh, I'm, a, I'm a one woman man. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Same reason? Uh, I don't like that either. No, sorry. yeah, no, yeah. That was your cute. outfit's cute, though. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I have a situation. Say you ladies are my girlfriend, right? We're walking down, let's say, a street, or maybe we're in a mall, and you see Shaquille O'Neal come by and he smacks your ass. Do you expect me to fight him or do you expect me to like walk away? Like what would you want me to do type of thing? I'm assuming this is like a big person like you don't know Shaq? Shaquille O'Neal? I mean, I definitely would expect you to say something. What? You don't have to fight like, the what man. Would you say? But... What would you say? Hey man, back off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like as long as you'd like stand up for me a little bit, I would expect you to say something. You don't have to fight, but at least like defend me in some way. And then he picks me up and throws me on the ground. Then you gotta defend yourself. Yeah, I'd want you to say something. You don't have to fight him, but at least be like, yo, that's my girl. Like, don't do that. Okay, okay. Okay, Shaq's a legend. Let's be real. You won't beat him in a fight. If I'm dating you, I don't want to see you get hurt. So just be like, hell yeah, like my girl's hot. You know, Shaq thinks my girl's hot. Maybe watch him smack it again. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look, I don't expect you to say anything and risk your life, but I do need you to get your lick back. So maybe like report him to the IRS for tax evasion or something. Wait. Like you can't, you can't just let a man slap my ass and walk away scot free. She's fit. You can't. If you report him to the IRS and yo, what's with you in the IO? <laughs> she got a wire. Did he commit like on? tax fraud or something? No, I just feel like you need to do something to get your lick back. What is your is ideal first date? I'll probably want to see like how tough you are, so I probably take you to paintballing or something like that. Okay. Valid. And probably like unload the clip. What's your favorite thing to do in your pastime? I don't know if you could see by the aesthetic, but I go to the gym, play video games. What kind of video games? Call of Duty, Fortnite. I like to play games too. Okay. Fortnite. Okay. Valorant. I don't really like Call of Duty that much though. Mm, I don't like Call of Duty either. <laughs> Are you a liar? No. Didn't you just say you play Call of Duty? Play duh. Mm. duh. What do you look for in a girl? <laughs> You got him thinking with that one. What do I look for in a woman? Low key. Low key, that's yeah. a good one. Uh, not not out there. there. Not out there, but someone that I could pop out with. You know what I'm saying? Like if I need to go out and I want to show you off, I'd like to show you off. Bring home to the parents. Okay, I got it, damn. <laughs> okay, like say we're hanging out and you're like introducing me to your friends. How would you introduce me? I'd be like, this is my girl. Please do not like touch her or nothing like that. <laughs> 
appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying. Have you ever been on any dating apps? No. Okay, good. Because sometimes it's a red flag if you're like out and about and this girl's like, oh, I've matched with your boyfriend on Hinge or something like that. That's Have good. you been on dating apps? No, I have not. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There's something going on there's here. Some, there's some interest here, Ron. The dark thing, I'm just up it down. So we gave you the dark. She's looking at me like she don't want to be pop. Or do you want to be pop? Let me know. Oh, you don't care. Bro, they all vibe with you. They all vibe with you. Why would you do that? Because I just hinted. I was like, do you want to be pop? She's like, oh. She was unsure. Yeah, like, what? Like... See? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're being a little cocky right now. Cocky? He's a very confident individual. Oh, she nervous. That's too cute. I'm going to pop you. Ooh, why did you pop her balloon? I didn't like her question. Did you have any plans of popping your balloon? Honestly, no. She really vibed with you, bro. Yeah, you kind of hurt my feelings. Everyone on the couch, if you have a question that Ron can ask them. What's your favorite position? Oh, were you like holding that? Like, he, it's like he had that ready, bro. Are you ladies comfortable answering that? It's okay if you could say no. I feel like you've been fetching for us to make these like no questions. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, like, both. I didn't Ron. even ask that. It was it. All I'm saying is like my man wouldn't want my business to be out there like that. That's exactly why I asked you though. Know, are you comfortable? Yeah, with he did ask the comfortable question. You could have just said. I no. could have been straight into it. He opens up with the what's the freakiest thing you've ever done, and I was ready to pop it back then, but you did good. Wait, so ladies, forget the balloons. Do any of you want to go on a date with me? Get back to the couch. Get back to the couch. <laughs> Ladies, we're 0 for 3. But the next contestant is the oldest member in phase and music producer, Unk Kason. <laughs> <laughs> Unk is crazy. What's up, ladies? How's it going? Kason, nice to meet you guys. Kason, I want to start with a question to you. Why are you single right now? I prioritize, like, my work and, like, my outside life. I don't like to force things, so if it kind of happens naturally, it happens, and if it doesn't, okay. it doesn't, so. Are you, like, not forcing anything by just not ever prioritizing women, or is it... I'm a very big person. I, like, go with the flow, and if it just happens, like, if I meet the right person at, like, the right time, then, like, it's meant to be. Until then, I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, go date other people, you but know? you're open to someone, like, walking Yeah, absolutely. Or... I'm 20 so which by the way this actually leads me to my next question personally I need to know how old every single person is here. <laughs> okay we'll, Man, we'll go down the line here oh my name is Ruby okay. and I'm 23 my name's Alex and I'm 27 my name's Anna and I'm 24 okay my name is Kay I'm 26 my name is Emma and I'm 22 my name's Annalie and I'm 23 my name is Kat and I turn 29 tomorrow wow Ooh. oh my god Whoa, hold up hold up hello I'm Alex nice hi how's it going you. nice to meet you too um I didn't get a handshake whoa my question is what characteristics do you look for in a girl well, how she dresses is very important to me. Okay, can you see like what I'm wearing? I'm gonna be honest, it's not yes. my not my typical style of what okay. I like. What is your style? She definitely is kind of wearing like the vibe I would like. Ooh, I should be honest. Oh my god, drama. You popped your balloon because of that answer, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's fair enough. No, yeah. How did you feel about that answer? Good, obviously. I'm like really into fashion, so I was hoping he wouldn't be like, wow, she looks ugly in that, but <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had an ex? And if so, what happened? Why'd you guys break up? I've only had one ex in my life, surprisingly, at 29. Essentially what happened was it was at a time in my life where, like I said, with work and everything going on, she wasn't really like a priority in my life at that time. I tried my best. I actually broke up with her. What do you do for work? I'm a music producer, DJ, streamer. Uh, I want a Call of Duty team. Slight flex. And I'm mean, obviously in FaZe Clan too, so. Like a common question, but sure. what is your ideal first date? I think every situation is different. A first date just needs to be something where you show another woman a lot of respect. What are your hobbies outside of work? Do you have any time for hobbies? Family time or friend time. I like that. Yeah. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from LA, born and raised. And my ethnicity, I'm Persian. So, so you spend a lot of time with your family? Yeah, and when I'm here, definitely. Because my sister just had a kid, so I just love being with them. Congrats. That's awesome. Thank you. What would be the most difficult thing for you to give up? The hardest thing for me to give up is really actually leaving this city. I love living in LA. Okay. So I almost popped my balloon for that. Would okay. you ever consider moving anywhere else, or are you like, I want to stay here for the rest of my life? If I find love and a significant other who wants to be somewhere else, it definitely would be a conversation for sure. I'm born and raised here. You can't hate that. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. For okay. Yeah, because I don't want to lose you at all. So. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you have your eyes on someone already. Really? No, everyone's great. Everyone's great. W Riz. Okay, Son, we're going to give you the chance here to pop three balloons. Oh, you guys are great. So anyone who eliminates, you know, you guys did nothing wrong. I kind of have my eye set on somebody already. So I'm going to pop you. <laughs> pop it. Pop it. Okay, two more. I'm going to pop you. And then I'm going to pop you. Sorry. So no specific reason. You no. just have your eyes set on someone. Yeah. So why don't you just pop everyone except her? Well, I still want to get to know other people. 
You never know. Things could change. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like your maturity level is up there, which I appreciate. And Why are you pointing at me? I think you're very sweet. You're a very nice guy. You are very mature. So I just wanted to hear a little bit more about what you were going to say. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, same thing as the other girls. He seems super nice, super respectful, and just seemed like you have a good head on your shoulders. To all the guys on the couch, do you have a question you could ask the ladies? How soon do you want to get married? Definitely in my 30s, for sure. Yeah, it's like next That's week. <laughs> Loki, but it could I, be next week, ladies. I am. I would say anyone I intend to date would be with the intention of hopefully getting to that point. I'm not gonna put a timestamp on anything, because again, in life, you never know what happens. But I would definitely like to be married for sure and have kids. Right back to you. How soon do you want to get married? I thought I was gonna get married by the time I was like 23, to be honest. Now the fact that I'm 24, it's definitely something like the next person that I date, I want to probably marry. Date to marry. Yeah. I want to say that I really liked your answer. I agree with that. I'm 22, so like it's kind of young for me to marry, but if I date someone, it's definitely with the intention that I want to marry them. I date to marry as well, but I am also 23 and I just moved to a new state, so like I'm kind of living life. Where'd you move from? Louisiana. Okay. You hear the accent Love that. a little bit? I can hear it. I can definitely hear it. Do you believe in 50 50 relationships? I personally grew up in a Middle Eastern home with my family, so like personally feel like I need to provide always for like my significant other. But at the same time, I 